The gentleman yields back the balance of his time. For what purpose does the gentleman from Oregon rise? Without objection. Most Americans would agree that it would be prudent to have a plan to provide for the continuity of government and the rule of law in case of a devastating terrorist attack or natural disaster. A plan that provides for the cooperation, the coordination, and continued functioning of all three branches of the government. The Bush administration tells us they have such a plan. They introduced a little sketchy public version that's clearly inadequate uh, and, and doesn't really tell us what they have in mind. But they said, don't worry, there's a detailed classified version. But now they've denied the entire Homeland Security Committee of the United States House of Representatives access to their so-called detailed plan to provide for continuity of government. They say, trust us. Trust us, the people who brought us Katrina, to be competent in face of a disaster. Trust us, the people who brought us warrantless wiretapping and other excesses eroding our civil liberties. Trust us. Maybe the plan just really doesn't exist, and that's why they won't show it to us. I don't know. Or maybe there's something there that's outrageous. The American people need their elected representatives to review this plan for the continuity of government. The gentleman's time has expired. For what purpose does the gentleman from Texas rise? Request permission to address the House for one minute. Without objection.